Bess is part Chihuahua and part Terrier. She has the most beautiful eyes ever. Three weeks ago, we lost three of our boys. We used to have four dogs. We came home and my partner found Stanley had passed away in his bed that evening. And within 24 hours, both Buster and Einstein took a turn for the worse. So Jack was left alone, and we knew that with those three guys gone, there was room now for us to rescue someone else. The first time we saw Bess, our connection with her was, was literally immediate. It was love at first sight. The minute they brought her out, it was her eyes, absolutely her eyes. And then of course you can't help but see her back and just your heart breaks for her. We were lucky that no one else took her before we did. Bess's history is sort of a, a mystery. When they found her, if you can see the scars on her back, and it's pretty clear that it's as if something was poured on her and it just went over her back. Um, she's horribly scarred, and they're not even sure if this is gonna fill in with hair. She may just be scarred for the rest of her life, and that would be okay, because she's still beautiful, but they don't really know exactly what happened to her. We picked Firefly up from the South Los Angeles City Shelter. When we went to the shelter to see Firefly, we did see that she was um, horribly burned over about 80 to 85 percent of her body. The only thing that was not burned was her head and a little bit of her legs, so she was in pretty, pretty bad shape. We really don't know how this happened. I'm guessing it was probably abuse. She was found as a stray. I can't imagine how she would have gotten burned that badly unless someone actually did that to her. She actually recovered better than any of us thought. She's starting to get a little bit of her hair back, and she's just a happy kid. There's no special care we had to give her anymore. The doctors gave her a clean bill of health. Her scars have healed. We're optimistic that hopefully she will grow hair back, but uh, right now she's very, very healthy, and now it's just a matter of time to see whether the hair grows back or not. Playtime is in the backyard. She is quite a spaz sometimes. You know, she's got that puppy energy. So we play catch in the backyard. She likes to run around in circles and go crazy and get all that sort of puppy energy out. And for me, that's, I love watching that. The feeling I get when I get home and Bess is at the door is priceless, really. To come home and have these two meet me at the door, tails wagging, so happy to see me, just unconditional love. There's no greater gift than that. Having Bess in the house has really sort of brought us full circle. After our loss several weeks ago with the three boys, and we feel very fortunate that we have uh, found her, and she has made our family complete.